Hey there guys, so today I'm going to show you guys how can we create a malicious Microsoft Word file that will execute the macro script. This kind of malicious Word file are useful when we perform a social engineering attack. Like we create a Microsoft Word file which is malicious and then we distribute it using the spear phishing attack. Version. So this is how the social engineering works normally. The attacker or the threat actor will send an email and in our case we're going to send an email containing the Microsoft Word file that is malicious to the employee. In this case we want to break into the employee organization network. So in this case when we distribute it through unit spear phishing we will spread it out to all the employees email them the email company you see who is the victim that will fall into this trap. When they execute the Microsoft Word file the attacker will gain access into the internet network of the company as a foothold. So how can we do that? In this one, we just show as an education purpose. Only. We're going to see how can we create a malicious word file using the macro script. Okay, so we just open the word over here. We create a blank document. Now we need to craft our template in order to let the victim fall into this trap. How we can do it something like this is sales report 2020 year 2020 yeah, okay over here we're gonna put something like mm, in order to build the content please enable a macro okay we highlight it and then we go to the view, we go to the macro over here we're gonna create a macro script this one I'm gonna, this one I'm gonna remove first okay so we can create a macro script over here and as you can see that at the Microsoft document over here this is how we create a macro name that will perform auto macros this is auto execute, auto new but in our case we're gonna use auto open each time when the user open up the document, it will, it will perform the malicious action by executing the macro script. So over here, our macro name, we're going to put auto open. And then macros, we're going to save in this one, the document one. And then here, we're going to put our VB script. Okay, so over here, I'm going to put the shell to execute the shell command. Here, because I'm running a Windows in a subsystem, we're gonna use this one as a demo to gain our reverse shell. We're gonna use this one to execute the CMD. Okay, execute. Here I specify two times the double code because that's how we can place the double code inside the command in VB script. Okay, we're gonna use that cat. This is one, send it back to my IP. Okay, close this one. And then we save this one, save as, we're gonna save as the word macro enable document. So the name is gonna be this report. Save it over here. Okay. So here, as you can see, that there's a sales report over here. So we try to open up our listener first. And we try to execute it as a normal user here. We execute the sales report. And it shows that security warning. The macro has been disabled. We need to enable the content. In order to view, this is how we craft our uh, template. Huh? We need to make the user to point to the trap by telling it that in order to view the content, we need to enable the macro to view the sales report. So the user just enable it. And as you can see that our naked listener just capture our reverse shell and we can execute a command at the victim machine so that's how we gain our initial foothold at the victim the organization so that's all for my video thanks guys bye bye